Well, hello again, everyone. I'm still playing with eyeshadow. The video yesterday, I think it <laughs> opened a lot of people's eyes, actually. So I thought rather than do exactly the same process, I would still use them. I would still use them on die cuts, but I would use a slightly different technique. So these two are part of a set from Impression Obsession, and I love them. And they have got embossing lines within the die. So they cut it out and they emboss the veins into the leaf as well. So this was another one of it. This is a body shop. Shimmer Cubes eyeshadow. So I scraped a little bit onto my mat here and added it. But rather than use glue, as I did yesterday, and adding gilding flakes, today I used Versamark. So, first thing to do, I'm, I will finish this card, but I want to show you what I did this time with the leaves. So I'll just cut a couple out. I have loads and loads of bits and pieces of scrap, which is perfect for small die cuts. So, into the that's the right way. We'll use it. This is a silk weave linen card. I use it for die cuts, for mounts, for panels, for the card itself, whole nine yards. So I really love it. Sometimes I use it with the uh, textured side up. Sometimes I used it with the textured side on the back. So this time the textured side is on the top. I don't know what I did there, to be perfectly honest, but never mind, it's fine. Okay, here are my two dies. I'll get them out of the die straight away. And can you see, it's got lovely embossed veins on there. So, put that on the magnet at the back. <laughs> Try and keep them safe. Doesn't always work. Right, here we go, there we go. So we've got a horse chestnut and a sycamore, or it may be a maple, who knows. Anyway, what I did this time, rather than use glue, this is a dirty old uh, Versamark pad, but it doesn't matter for this because it's all, the ink's all gonna be covered up anyway. So I'm just gonna dab it onto my pad so that I get plenty of ink on my die. There it is. And another one. Some of the, the, pro, the processes are similar to yesterday, but there's a few differences. Um, and it's important to, to, to kind of remember what we're doing here. So I've got, this actually is a tool that is supposed to be for scraping bits of cuts uh, from electronic die cutting machines, just lifting them off the carrier sheet. So this one is more autumnal shades, which are used on there. I did actually scrape a little bit of green onto it as well. But uh, for this for this moment, we're going to use some of these. And I'm just going to scrape a little like this onto the mat. You can see where I've scraped it before. Okay, turn it round some silver and some deep and this kind of a, a burgundy colour. They're beautiful shades actually. I would think I'd look rather fabulous if, if I was to adorn myself around the eyes with this but um, perhaps I'll have a go later. We'll see. Right, I've got a little um, blending brush. One of a set of six that I bought on Amazon. Three different sizes Three are flat and three are angled. I don't know what the advantage to being flat or angled is, so who knows? I just grab any one that I think is going to be a suitable size for whatever I'm doing, really. So a little dab into the scraped off powder and a little dab onto the die cut. There we go. Next colour. This is the deep, deep one. bit of silver. I don't think 
it much matters where it goes, really. I think I will have a little green on this one as well. Put a little green up there. There we go. I'm using the same brush. I'm not bothering to change. There we go. This mat cleans up beautifully. I think it may be a tonic mat that I chopped in half. This sheet is a sheet of thin silicone. It was twice this size. It's a worktop protector, which I think is really for kitchens, for doing pastry or whatever, to protect your stone worktop or whatever. There we go, let's put a bit more of this dark on. Although I can add, always add some later. I'd like a bit more of the dark. Which one do I like? Is it that one I like? Let's try it. A bit more dramatic. There we go. Right, now the next thing that I did, I got some stays on. Let me just wipe my fingers. Got some stays on and I, this is stone grey, which is a really deep, deep grey. It's not as harsh as black, but um, I just want to put some dots, some splatters. This is um, a stamping up um, splatter spray from, I think it was called Gorgeous Grunge or something, the, um, the set from donkey's years ago, but so many companies do splatters. So, you know, you can use any splatter you like. So I'm just going to ink it up with this stone gray stays on. And I'm just going to stamp it over the leaves just to give a little bit of, I don't know, interest really. That doesn't show up very much. Let's put a bit more on. Didn't get that. Oh, Did no, you, you didn't. You need to listen very carefully. I shall say this only once, Mr. Man. I don't want to say your name in case you come back again. Right, I'm just going to wipe this off. Is there something else I can help with? No, thank you. No, I'm talking to okay. these... I'm talking to these other people. I'm not speaking to you. So there we go. I'm sorry if you're sad, but there you go. Right. Right, there's my... Can you see already? They are... Let me just lift one up. Can you see? Those little spots just give a little bit of interest. Okay, just going to wipe this stamp properly. Well, I'll, I'll clean it later. I have got a, a Nouveau stamp cleaner spray, which I use. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to seal those. So as I did yesterday, I'm going to use hairspray. So here's my spray box just to keep the spray away from anywhere else. And here's my hairspray, just a quick. And actually, the, the hairspray does have the effect of slightly diffusing. I pick it up with a pair of tweezers, I think. Don't want to mess it up too much. Right, here's my that, just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see it? Put the box away. Can you see that? It's lovely. Right. I'm going to let those dry. And while they do because I want to do something else to them, but I need it to be dry before I do it. So what I'm going to do now is carry on and just finish this one that I started before. I think I'll wipe this mat. It comes off fairly easily. It's rather a lot of mess, so just so that I don't get anything else too messed up. Okay. Give that stays on a bit of a rub. There we go. Okay. Put that in the bin. I'll just get a bit of paper towel and dry it off. Okay. I know those tidy minded amongst us would be very upset to see such a mess and me carrying on working. So, anyway, there we go. 
Right, now, uh, what I want to do with this one, I have my card base, I have my card panel, and I have an Alter New background die. So what I'm going to do with this is just do it in white and put it on as just a little subtle backdrop for these two leaves. So here I've got a little piece of double-sided sheet. So I'm going to put that on the back of this piece of card. Okie dokie. There we go. That's the sticky one. Whoops. That's the sticky one. Put it on the back of this piece of card. Okay. That piece there just feels a tad sticky. Just going to use this uh, anti static thing just to stop it being sticky because otherwise it would stick to my plate when I cut it out. Okay. Now I'm going to just cut out this, make sure looking against the light that I've got it over the bit of double-sided sheet and I'm going to cut it out. My fingers feel sticky now, touching that sheet. Right, here we go. Okay, okay. I can't remember what this is called, but this is I'm sure it's definitely from Alton New. Okay, let's bring this in. There's the backing away. Now to get the actual die out. Let me try and get rid of some of these bits first of all. Let's put them onto here, then they can go straight into the bin. I often just put these onto something. Can you see they're sticking onto there? Right. There's a lot in this. It's a, it's a fabulous uh, die. I can't remember. I just don't recall the name of it. I've scrolled all to new just there. Right, let's try and get rid of these bits. This is the trouble with using a double-sided sheet rather than uh, micro dots or glue or anything else. But it's going to take me a while. I think let me just pull this out and see how many stay in the die. That might be a possibility. Let's just see. really very fine. That's not too bad. A few hanging out. Let's get rid of those. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I'm nearly there. Right. Is that, is that all? The trouble is, this is this is so fine that if you try to put glue on it, you're going to get glue around it. And so, um, you know, micro dots would be a good alternative. I'll, I'll do that sometime. That looks like a little bit is ripped. So I'm just going to cut that bit off so it doesn't show. Okay. I think they're all out. Okay. And we'll pop that. Pop that onto our card front. Right, I'll just press it down. There we go. Perfect. Now we can throw this little lot away, all the little bits. These little bits get everywhere. Okay. It's going away. Now, all we need to do is to pop these onto that base. Isn't that pretty? 
Don't you think that's so pretty? So I'll use a little bit of um, foam tape on these, on each of the leaf leaflets. Can't remember what you call the separate things of a compound leaf. Biology is a long time ago, or botany, or I didn't actually do botany per se. Did biology. Right. Stick this one on. I'll leave the other one for the minute because I want to go back to those other leaves in a minute and see if we can do the last little bit to those. And then you can see the finished card. I think a lot of people would have old eyeshadows that they don't always use, but don't like to throw. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I'll do the same thing with that one. And I'll tuck the, the, the leaf um, stalk just underneath. And it just feels as if the two of them are then, you know, part of the unit. I will stick that later. Right, let's just carry on and finish this. I'll see if that hair spray has dried. It should have done by now because, you know, hairspray does dry quite quickly when you put it on your hair, doesn't it, really? Right, let's just get those bits out of the way. Okay. That lacking can go. I'll get the bits out of there later. Right, here are my two leaves. Let's just feel feel dry to me, but what I'm going to do is just give a rub over with my anti-static tool, okay? Right, because what I want to do now, I want to use this stamp again, but this time I want to use Versamark and some silver embossing powder. So let us try this again. Put these over here onto my mat, ink up the splatter stamp again and stamp over the top and again and stamp over the top. Okay, right. I just think anything that you can do to add a little bit of interest to die cuts, just elevate your card making several levels there we go let's just see how this there we go on this one Perfect. Right, let's pop this back into the pot. And we'll just heat set those. There we go. The last one of the last things I did was to add again a bit more definition to just odd places of these. So a touch of the Versa mark again. I'll just put some of this onto my mat again. Uh, where's my little scraper gone? Here it is. Just a little of the the darker stuff. Okay. So a little Versa mark. And a little of the darker stuff and then just 
Can you see? Just that tiny tip. It does make such a difference. It's just... It's just the differences of colour that just, I don't know, they just make it more interesting, don't they? Okay. Um, <laughs> one thing I did have to have a go of as well was just a touch of gilding wax. Again, it's just another, another thing to add that little bit of interest here and there doesn't have to be much there we go I will do it to the other one as well but you get the idea again similar to yesterday's very similar using eyeshadow but not using glue using Versamark and then the eyeshadow is just like kind of any other shimmer pigment powder that you might get in the shops and I actually think if you go to you know a cheap shop poundland or the, the equivalent you can pick up some eyeshadows really really cheaply and you've got a fabulous shimmer powder that you would pay a, a lot more money for for uh, from a, a craft supplier so as ever thank you for subscribing thank you for liking these videos Thank you, everyone who's bought me coffee. I am so grateful. Thank you. And as ever, thank you for watching.